Halo semuanya, berjumpa lagi bersama aku di sini, analis game sini di video baruku, yaitu World Tour untuk Game Rolex Slack di bagian kelima. Tapi sebelum mulai, kalian bisa like video ini jika kalian menyukainya. Lalu jangan lupa untuk share kepada yang menyukai dan subscribe jika kalian ingin melihat video seperti ini lagi. Oh iya, jangan lupa juga untuk klik link di deskripsi dan komentar yaitu link ke kopi dan traktir untuk memberikan dukungan kepada channel ini. Ini Oculus Gaming dan tanpa menunda lagi, mari kita mulai video Waltronya. Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Artyom menunjukkan rasa leganya karena sekarang ia telah tiba di stasiun netral, teater. Sekarang ia hanya perlu pergi ke polis. Dengan bantuan Pavel, seharusnya ia bisa tiba di sana dengan mulus. Hmm, sebentar. Hmm, penjaga ini kelihatannya akan segera pergi. Dan dia menanyakan apakah situasi di atas itu berbahaya kepada Pavel. Hmm, kelihatannya mereka akan menunggu teman-teman mereka sampai mereka datang dan pergi ke atas untuk menghancurkan sarang monster itu. Sebentar ada pembicaraan lagi aku ingin dengarkan. <laughs> Aku rasa kedua pasangan itu berasal dari saksi Nazi. Mereka sedang berdebat mengenai tinggi dan juga masuk ke tentara. Sebentar ada pembicaraan lagi. No, we can't. Sorry, that's forbidden without a permit. How about just the kids? And leave the parent here? No, you better just wait there. But you did let the first group in. No, they're sitting on their train at the transfer track. Be grateful you're on the platform where you have some space. Understood. Listen, everyone. Our stay permits are still being negotiated. So they told us to wait here. What about the kids? They need rest. How long do we have to wait here? Yes, how long? I can't wait no more. I gotta pee! Silence! They told us to wait, so we wait. However long it takes. Hmm, mereka adalah pengungsi. Dan kelihatannya para penjaga itu tidak membiarkan mereka masuk. Sebentar, bicara lagi. Uh, this happens all the time. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time it's us. Would be long before Fiora has the station to himself. But what do we do now? Live. And be glad we won't have our skulls measured every day. Oh, I'm I'm fainting. Hard to breathe. Calm down. Take a breath. Everything is all right. Everything is fine. Mereka adalah pengungsi dari stasiun Reich atau Nazi. Mereka pergi dari stasiun itu karena Reich ini selalu menaikkan standar mereka. Bentar. Hmm. Jadi stasiun berikutnya adalah Revolution, milik tentara merah. Dan Pavel akan meminta izin kepada mereka yang di sana untuk membiarkan aku lewat. Hmm. Oke, okay, Pavel minta aku untuk lihat-lihat dulu dan nanti ia akan menemukan kau nanti. Understand what I mean? Ah, 
So that's who's in charge here. Yes, exactly. And it's in your best interest too. Wait, better talk in private. Hmm. Walau ini adalah stasiun independen atau stasiun netral, kelihatannya Tara Merah memiliki kendali yang kuat di sini. Hmm. Perasaanku nggak enak sih. Tapi aku harap Pavel bisa melindungi kita di sini agar aku tak terlibat dengan masalah. Hmm. Dia mabuk. Right. Dia terjatuh. Akan butuh waktu untuk sadarkan diri tuh. Hmm. Kritikus. Hmm, ah, aku sumbangkan saja. All are welcome here, even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Bolshoi. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests the well-fed. But my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art. For thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But sadly, True art is 20 years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Ah, so the rest is still men, not just marionettes. Hmm, jadi kritikus ini berpendapat bahwa seni sejati telah hilang dan orang-orang teater ini kebal dengan kritik. Kritiknya ini membuatnya dikecam dan dimiskinkan. Death, decay, and endless war. Death and decay. That's exactly why we need theater. A drink and a show warms your body and soul. Without that, ah, we may as well end it all. Feast. The time of play. So, when does our guest arrive? The masked one with the scythe. Any minute now. So drink up. Cheers. Hmm, kedua orang itu sedang berdiskusi mengenai seberapa pentingnya teater di masa-masa kelam seperti ini, di mana di atas dipenuhi oleh radiasi dan mutan, kemudian peperangan di mana-mana, dan juga ketegangan di Nazi dan juga tentara merah. I wish. I did send him flying once, and got summons three days later. He'd cover up the black eye I gave him. So he says that by the new standards, my husband was a mutant. Then he goes, but his sentence is up to you. Give me what I want, or he hangs. So. What could I do? Why did you run then? Because it was over. When they released my husband, he asked why. The older chauffeur told him. My husband attacked the bastard, and the guard shot him dead. I am sorry. Aren't you worried they'll come after you? Now that the rats here, they wouldn't dare. But now. I may as well hang myself. Wanita ini berasal dari stasiun Reich atau stasiun Nazi. Ya, dia melarikan diri. Ia menceritakan bagaimana ia kehilangan suaminya. Sebentar, ada pembicara lagi. Aku ingin dengarkan. Why? What happened? Vitya didn't make it. How? They were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. 
No one suffered the scratch. But Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. And you, you left him there to die. No, Katya, we tried to save him. But it was too late. No, Vitya. We buried him there. A good place. We put white stones on the grave. Let her be. Hmm. Jadi stalker itu mengabari kepergian suaminya. Ya, kehidupan di Metra benar-benar sulit. Dan memang pekerjaan stalker adalah pekerjaan yang berbahaya. Mereka pergi ke atas untuk mencari persediaan. Tapi atas itu berbahaya. Karena di sana satu langkah bisa saja menjadi langkah terakhirmu. My papa is a stalker. He'll get me one of those dogs. My dad is a pilot. He'll get me hundred. Well, mine said he'd get it tomorrow. Mom says when he comes back, if I behave, but he's not coming back until later. Ah, oh, so it's not going to be soon? Let's go to Natasha's then and play with her doll for now. Let's go! What should I have said? I don't know. Truth? Who can live with truth like that? His commander said there was nothing left to bury. He begged forgiveness for letting him die. Sorry. What are you going to do now? I don't know. How can I go on like this? Hmm. Wanita ini berpikir bagaimana ia mengatakan kebenaran kepada anaknya. Kebenaran bahwa ayahnya telah tiada.
You'll recognize this one. Who's first? Me! Me! It's a lurker! Look at it snap its jaws! Yes, it's gonna sir. jump out of its That's hole! That's a lurker for sure! Sorry, children. I used to know how to show those animals, but I got old. Let me take a rest, and I'll try again later. I'll try to recall how to show them, so that you'll understand. Orang itu, Misha, menunjukkan bentuk binatang melalui bayangan kepada anak-anak itu. Tapi sayangnya anak-anak itu tidak mengenali binatang itu. Dan Misha kesulitan untuk mengenalinya kepada anak itu. Sedih sih sebenarnya. You give up already? Shit. We can still make it to stalkers instead of mere aids. Look, I got money for three days. Some drinks are on me. Hmm. Mereka berdua sedang berbicara mengenai masalah keuangan. Sebentar. Ngomong-ngomong soal keuangan. Lebih baik aku belanja dulu dah. Hmm. Aku jual saja ini. Soalnya aku nggak akan memerlukan ya. Aha. Oh. Oke, okay. peluruku atau munisiku nggak terlalu banyak ya. Oh well, aku beli saja untuk shotgun. Oke, okay. itu peluru untuk rival. Aku rasa itu sudah cukup. Ada juga senjata, tapi aku sudah puas dengan yang sekarang sih. Ntar, ada lagi pembicaraan. You can drink anywhere. This is a theater. Anything goes. But hey, I won't twist your arm. Just don't come back in 10 minutes when you change your mind. It all be gone. Wait a minute, I got to think. Think faster. Look, there is another tourist there. If you don't buy this, he's sure to. All right, all right, I'm taking it. Eh, hey, thanks, man. If not for you, I'd never get the sucker to buy. If you want some for yourself, come back in the evening. I'm waiting for a new supply. Hmm, ia berjualan barang selundupan. Hmm, dan aku berdiri dekatnya, membantunya berjualan. Gamenya bahkan memberikan aku good moral point daripada bad moral point. Hmm, rasanya salah sih. Tapi entah mengapa gamenya anggap aku melakukan hal yang baik. Ah, sungguh aneh, tapi nyata sih. Hmm, dan ini orang-orang sudah berantai ya? Gimana aku lewat ya? Oh, Pavel, halo. Oke, okay, oke, okay, good. Jadi mereka akan membiarkan kita masuk dari teater ya? Good. Oke, okay, Pavel, lakukan apa yang bisa aku lakukan. Setidaknya agar aku bisa lewat. Terima kasih, Pavel. Well, aku rasa dia akan melakukan hal yang sama ketika kita berada di revolusi. Memberikan aku izin untuk lewat. Tentunya. Hmm, Pavel juga bilang, aku bisa aja nonton pertunjukannya jika aku mau. Atau aku bisa langsung aja pergi ke revolusi. Hmm, ya. Banyak orang yang ingin melihat pertunjukan ini. Ada yang duduk, ada juga yang berdiri. Hmm... So, what should I do? Apa yang harus aku lakukan? Well, aku rasa aku akan menontonnya. Menonton akan memberikan aku moral point sih. Masterable. 
A warm welcome for Yanni Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his uh, terror of our city. <laughs> as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> And they went back to the traditional recipe. The new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! <laughs> and tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kola Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottom. A round of applause, please! will never sound the same. Your music is touching strings with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today, our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. mind-blowing, incredible, simply incredible, if a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and 
I be charmed. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using a flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo, the favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Victor Minchuk with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarmi. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet. Well, itu semua pertunjukannya. Dan lihat, jika kalian menonton semua pertunjukannya, kalian akan mendapatkan good moral point. Oh ya. Yeah. Dan juga jika kalian adalah achievement hunter, kalian akan mendapatkan achievement jika kalian melihat semua pertunjukannya. Aku kasih tahu aja itu. Seandainya saja kalian adalah achievement hunter di sebuah video game, seperti aku. Oh, ini adalah ruang dandan. Kita harus lewat sini ya. Nah, aku udah terlalu nyaman di sini sih sebenarnya. Ah, hmm, kelihatannya Pavel cukup kenal dengan wanita-wanita yang ada di sini. Mungkin juga cukup dekat. Hmm. Ntar, apa nih? 
In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. No, he's reliable and doesn't waste his money. In that case, you should just marry him. He won't propose. He's too cheap for that, too. Fool. We're just testing our love. Yeah, yeah. And in the meantime, he made you some powder by scratching the ceiling. At least I have a man of my own, instead of selling myself at the bar. You'd do it too if anyone would buy. Girls, enough quarreling. The prompt bell's going to go off soon. So what? I'm not going on stage with her. You better. You've nowhere else to go since the freak show left the station. You bitch. Knock it off. No fighting here or on stage. Okay, let's let it go. No, it's not okay. What? Should I call Petrovna? No, please don't. Then finish your makeup. It's our call soon. Hmm, wanita ini yang berantem ya. Bermulai dari pembicaraan mengenai dandan, pacar, dan juga berantem. Hah, typical woman stuff. Hmm, yes. Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Hmm. Yes, it's a hard life. Dia mengomentari selera aku ya. Tara, ada pembicaraan. Aku nular lagi. What's going on? What else? Another war. Looks like the fucking commies are going to fight the Reich again. Shit. Is war all they know? Instead of wasting ammo on each other, they could be wiping out the vermin. They don't give a shit about that. The Mokalik has butchered my father. Who cares? No one. So how are we supposed to live? Or is our children? If the monsters don't kill them, other men will. This is what I'm saying. Why go on day after day? Why can't it just end? Hmm. Wanita itu berbicara mengenai peperangan antara Nazi dan juga tentara merah. Hmm. Ya, kenapa tidak mau berakhir ya? Let's drink to the fact we are still alive. Hmm. Tell me, okay? Jadi sebelum pergi, Pak boleh ingin aku merayakan kemenangan kita. Well, aku rasa tak ada salahnya sih untuk merayakannya. Alright, minum untuk kemenangan. Pikir. Uh-huh. Jadi, Pavel sudah mau mengatakan situasi di stasiun tentara merah. Oke, mari kita lihat arah pembicaraan ini. Wow, so... Yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, 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 one Yes, look, look at the far stations. They're freaking eat each other, sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast. You know, war there, war there is all that matters. That's that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I'm red until the day I die. Jadi, Pavel benar-benar punya keyakinan yang kuat ya akan ideologinya. Sebentar, sebentar, sebentar. Hmm, ini kayaknya artinya om mabuk ya nih. Gerakannya agak kaku. Oh look, tentara merah. Hmm, kenapa kami temaf? Oh hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hah, private? Yes, Major. Kamu berbicara seakan-akan kau adalah atasan mereka. Hold up. Oh jangan bilang, jangan bilang kamu ngeracun makananku ya. Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is private. Mayor. Baiklah semuanya, aku rasa videonya sudah cukup sampai di sini. Jika kalian menyukai video seperti ini, kalian bisa like videonya, share kepada yang menyukai dan subscribe jika kalian ingin melihat video seperti ini lagi. Oh ya, 
Jangan lupa juga untuk klik link di deskripsi dan komentar itu link ke kopi dan traktir untuk memberikan dukungan kepada channel ini. Ini Oculus Gaming dan sampai jumpa di video berikutnya. See ya.